today I will be presenting the death of the chrysanthemums. The death of the chrysanthemums by the plantain lover. The festing over and the first note falling. The flowers frost stricken lie or sideways lean. The perfume lingering but the golden hue dimmed. And few portato leaves buried with green. Now under moonlit bench the crickets shrill. And weary goose files in the cold sky are seen. Get ever passing, let me not complain. Next autumn equinox. We'll meet again. In order to understand this poem, we have to look at a few key points. There is the wintry imagery. In the Chinese culture, there is a festival called the Double Ninth Festival. It occurs on the ninth day of the ninth month in the lunar character. The Double Ninth Festival occurs in autumn, and during this time, chrysanthemum flowers are blooming. This is a time where coldness is setting in, and most flowers are dying. However, these beautiful chrysanthemum flowers bloom during this time. And there's also a symbolism in the Double Nine Festival. Chrysanthemum wine and tea is drunk during this time, and chrysanthemum wine and tea are considered elixirs of youth. Additionally, during this Double Nine Festival, it is now more commonly seen as a time where the youth can honor their elders. We also have the geese. Geese in Chinese literature signify separation, exile, and death. They also signify the passage of time and the change of seasons. Seeing the geese at the end really allows the reader to see that the narrator is reminded once again of this separation. The separation could incur just in spatial distance, but it can also be death. Especially with the imagery of the chrysanthemum flowers dying, it could signify that a loved one is passing or that the passage of a family member has occurred. Nonetheless, this rather negative and melancholy tone does not persist. Instead, we have the last couplet. It is rather optimistic compared to the rest of the poem. The last couplet reads, Yet of your passing, let me not complain. Next autumn equinox, we'll meet again. In order to really understand and grasp this final couplet, we have to see the poet's persona. Tan Chun is a poet behind the death of chrysanthemums. Tan Chun is a very strong, outspoken woman who is relentless. She is someone who is not yielding and always does what they want to do. As a result, we see that Tan Chun's very persistent, demanding personality show through. They demand and proclaim that they will meet again. As a result, we can see that Tan Chun is trying to let the readers know not to give in to these hardships, not to steep in these sadness, not to only soak in the negativity that comes with separation and passing, but to consider what can come, to consider the good things that can come from this, to consider that there is a possibility to meet again. This is the only way that the author and maybe even the readers can get some contentment from yearning. Well, this is the death of the chrysanthemums. Thank you.